So I ran across this app remaining earlier this week that's supposed to be able to repair damaged old photos. It says it can fix blurs and scratches also on the photos. So I'm going to be testing this out with some of my old family photos. So here we are at the main menu. And it has a lot of tools I've seen on some other photo editing apps. But that's not what I really care about. I don't want to see if it can really fix my old family photos. Here's one that's near and dear to me. It's a photo of me and my dad. This is probably around 1975 maybe. And I wanted to see if it can get any clearer. So I did the enhancement. And I really couldn't see much in difference on the first enhancement. So if your photo needs further enhancement, you can try to do the adjustment on the enhance too and see if it'll make a difference. It's at the top of the screen. Slide to the right to see the enhance tool preview. There's still not a real noticeable difference. The image is still auto focus and blurry. So it looks like it has limitations on just what it can do based on the quality of the photo you're trying to reproduce. So I want to try another photo and see if I can get better results. So this is another photo of me from the 70s. I'm probably about seven or eight years old. And as you can see, it's auto focus and blurry. And it looks like it's a little worse than the first one because it has a uh, finger partially blocking the photo and has made, made a dark spot. But you can go in there and use the crop and, and crop as much as you can out of there. Now this time on the after picture, I can see a little bit of a difference. And as you can see, there's, there's a little bit more clarity in it. At least in my face, I can see a little more clarity. Not an entire picture, but I do see a slight difference. But there is some distortion. Look at my face. Man, the left side of my face doesn't look too right. Let me try to enhance it with the Enhance tool. Remember, we're going to slide to the right. Click on Enhance tool. So it does look a little brighter. Oh my God, look at my face. Yes, there's definitely some distortion there. I look like an evil hunchback of Notre Dame. So let me try another picture. Here's one with me and my uncle and my cousins all together. And as you can see, this one is heavily out of focus as well. My dad shot most of these on his old 110 camera, which was a popular inexpensive camera back in the 70s. I'm not even sure if it had any kind of adjustments for exposure, which would help to explain the quality of some of these pictures. So let's click on Enhance tool and see if we can get more clarity out of this picture. Again, I do notice a, a slight improvement in the photo. Three of the faces now can be seen a little bit better. This is indeed optimistic. I'm surprised I'm able to get this much quality out of it now. So now I want to try to upgrade to the paid version of this app, which will supposedly be able to give me the most clear pictures you can get. And here are the prices down below. I'm going to try the one month subscription, which includes unlimited usage and ad free. Plus a lot of other features, but y'all don't have time to go over right now because what I really want to focus on is the photo restorations. So guys, this is what the Enhanced Plus Premium screen looks like. It lets you compare all three pro versions from the same screen. And guys, I'm here to tell you, I really could not tell much difference on the premium version from the free version. And so I tried multiple pictures and I had similar results as this which was a little bit disappointing. So to be fair, I decided, let's try an old picture that's actually in really good shape. We'll just see if it can get clarified. And indeed, it does enhance it a bit. But to be honest with you, probably most other photo editing apps can probably do the same thing, even the free ones. And this is a paid one. Overall, I'm not fully impressed with the performance of this app even though it does do what it says it does and there is some clarification in photos but it has its limitations and depending on the severity of the damage you may not be pleased with the end result there are definitely were some things i liked about it like the preview screen however the premium service was not really impressive to me now I can't really speak about the other features that come with the premium service because I really haven't had a chance to check those out yet. I'm speaking mostly for the Photo Enhanced 3 version. In my opinion, the free version is, will do just as well. Please like, share, and leave your comments below. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.